Hey everyone, Sean Stad here and I'm back with another video in which we will be discussing something which most of you have already heard about, right? And uh, yeah, it's all over the Dauntless Reddit and it's um, regarding the Dauntless developer's choice to move to the Epic Store and uh, what that brings as benefits, as uh, negatives and overall what I think about it. But my opinion is gonna be at the end of the video. I will start off with the pure facts and information regarding this transition and then move on to all of my conspiracy theories, crazy opinions and etc. I think that the biggest advantage and I think I'm gonna start um, this video with is the fact that once the game moves to the Epic Store, it's gonna become a cross-platform play. As you all know, it's gonna come to PS4 and the Xbox on April this year and by the end of the year it's gonna come to Switch and also mobile. Player base for Dauntless at the moment is based only on PC because the game is only accessible on PC and it is understandable that a lot of people are not happy about the move to the Epic Store but just for a moment I want everyone to put yourselves in the shoes of the developers and if you have the chance to move the game to the Epic Store, increase the audience, make it more accessible on different consoles and other devices, wouldn't you do that? Especially when using the Epic Store means that the costs of doing this will be considerably lower and it's gonna be easier and above all else it's gonna have a cross play between all of these consoles and devices imagine that uh, you have a friend who only has a PS4 or an Xbox and you want to play Dauntless with him now you're gonna be able to do that because he doesn't want to buy a PC you don't want to buy a console but everything is gonna be fine because you're gonna be able to cross play between each other without any hassle without any problems okay so there might be problems because not everything is always perfect and we all know that from this point on I don't think there's anything else which is strictly positive that I can mention or that comes up to my head. I'm honest about this. I mean, all benefits that come with moving to the Epic Store are mostly for the developers themselves. And what we get in return will be seen with the future development of the game. I do hope that they put more effort and get more content out sooner because let's say they will have uh, to spend less time getting the game ready for the consoles and etc. So yeah. Moving on to some of the negative stuff, Epic Store customer support and um, consumer policies are very non-consumer friendly and anti-consumer. I agree with that. Um, getting a ticket out, getting a response, getting a proper response from the Epic Store is kind of a hassle. It's kind of bad. Not just kind of bad, it is bad. I've experienced it myself. Um, the customer support is really horrible. I'm sorry to say it, but compared to Steam and some other places, it's on a very low level. I don't know if that's because uh, the platform is relatively still new and or some other reasons but refunds customer support those stuff are at a very low level currently on the epic store and also the currency and region prices are all over the place too which might impact how the in-game stuff costs because uh, in some places it might cost less in others it might cost more and yeah that's uh, that's the situation with the epic store there's also a conspiracy theory okay so not a conspiracy theory a lot of people think that uh, epic store and the company as a whole um sells their data and gives it out to the chinese uh, to the other chinese company i think it was 10 cent yeah 10 cent was the comp should have been the company that has investments in the epic store and uh, a lot of people think that the data is being sold to the Chinese government or given to the Chinese government. In December, the CEO of uh, Epic, uh, Epic Games, uh, Tim Sweeney, I think was the name, I might be mistaken, uh, said that uh, they do not move or give any information to Tencent, who's an investor in the company, because Tencent is just an investor while um, he still owns, I mean, I talk about the CEO, uh, he still owns uh, the majority of the holes. He decides, he makes the decisions. If you guys are going to be worried that the Chinese government might get your data, you might as well get worried about any government in the world trying to get your data, regardless if it's on Epic Store, Origins, any other game launcher, Steam, etc. If someone wants to get your data, they're going to try to find a way to get your data. Trust me on that. I have a question towards everyone who's gonna view and listen to this video and it's based on what they've seen in the reddit in Dauntless. Do you guys mostly hate and gonna stop play the game because it's moving to the epic store because you're gonna have to get another launcher out? That's that's the impression I'm getting from uh, from reading everything on the reddit. I mean there's very little opinions, comments and uh, 
o overall posts that give proper answers why they're gonna stop playing the game and hate the move to the Epic Store and that opinion answer or topic is not related to the fact that it's moving to another launcher and they're gonna retire the original Dauntless launcher. I just said that very complex and confusing. So a lot of people, uh, the, my impression from the Reddit is that a lot of people hate the move uh, to the Epic Store purely because they have to get a new launcher and they're gonna retire the Dauntless launcher. I mean, is it that bad to get another launcher? I remember back in the day when you installed a new game, you had a new, you, each game had its own icon on the desktop. It didn't have launchers. Now you have a couple of games under one launcher. Yeah, I know it's a hassle to update, to have different launchers, to have to add your friend on different uh, launchers, but that's the situation at the moment. Video game developers are making launchers and they're getting into different stores and launchers because that's how things work at the moment. Maybe in five years or maybe in three years it's gonna change to something different, but that's, that's how it is at the moment. I'm not bothered by it. I'm not, uh, I'm honestly not bothered. I have all of the launchers, I use all of the launchers. Yeah, they take a lot of space. Yeah, it's a hassle to uh, get your username on all of the launchers, but they still use them because there's nothing you can do about it. If you have to be honest, if a developer has decided it, there's very little that you can do about it. Uh, there's the developers which listen to their communities and fully move based on their fans and their communities behind the games are very little. And even though I love Phoenix Labs because of some stuff, I hate it because of others. I don't think they're a video game developer who moves based on what the player wants. I genuinely think that. I don't think they're gonna make a big move because the fan base and the community is asking for it. I'm sorry to say it, but I think that's the truth. So I did actually share my opinion during the facts, but let me clearly say what I personally think about all this. Firstly, as I mentioned, I'm not bothered or mind the move to the store. I will keep playing the game and uh, hope to meet a lot of new people when it releases on consoles. I mean, I'm not bothered by a new launcher. I already have the Epic launcher, so I'm going to play it. I'm not a f I'm not a Fortnite fanboy. I've tried Fortnite, it, I didn't like it, I stopped playing it. But there are a couple of other games which I play on the Epic launcher, on the Epic Store, and I'm going to keep playing Dauntless. Secondly, I do not uh, like some of the stuff related to the Epic Store and the Epic launcher, but those are problems with, with the Epic Store, with Epic. Not with Dauntless. They're not gonna prevent me from playing Dauntless. And I think that anyone who's saying that Dauntless is good, but I will not play it because Epic is bad, is an idiot for me. Seriously, if you ever like a game, you will compromise with something, some stuff, so you can keep enjoying it. Phoenix Labs have made some bad decisions in the past. I don't think this is a bad decision. I don't think that it's a bad decision on their behalf because after all, everyone has to make a living. That's their way of making a living. There's a lot of controversy about the decision, but I don't think the problem with the, the decision is uh, Phoenix Labs and Dauntless, but I think there are many other factors, uh, information and facts that are causing the problem and causing a lot of people to just get the whole thing uh, escalated to, to, to a degree which it's not necessary. Dauntless is moving in a good direction and that's what I really think about it. I honestly hope that moving to the Epic Store is gonna allow for the game to develop faster, better and make it overall a better game because it's a free to play game and I want the best for it regardless of what happens and i hope you guys can trust the developers also trust the move to epic or at least give it a chance i may end up being wrong i know that i might be wrong i know that uh, it might end up being uh, a very bad decision to move to epic some stuff might develop into the wrong direction it might just ruin the game itself that's a possibility but there's also the possibilities for something better to happen I'm getting kind of off topic here, but uh, what I'm trying to say is don't believe everything that everyone says and everything, right? Trust your own decisions and your own ideas and your uh, own experience the most. Don't copy paste what other people have said and written. Try to either experience it yourself or if you're gonna copy paste someone, make sure that it's factually correct. Don't just hate something or escalate a situation or go on about the same thing over and over again. Although I know that personally I sometimes do that. At the end of the day, it's a fact. Don't listen to moving to the Epic Store. Nothing is gonna be done about that. It's gonna go there. If you wanna stop playing, tell us about it and stop playing. If you're gonna keep playing, tell us again about it and keep playing. 
Anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Video might have went a little bit off topic and to the side. Um, you, you know how I do it. Sometimes I get too personal. I try to keep it under control. I did a lot of editing this time. The video should have been above 20 minutes. I reduced it a lot since I didn't want to get a lot of negative uh, on my back because of not properly doing uh, my content. So I wanna know what you guys think about this, what you think about my opinion, about the facts that I shared, about uh, the, the Dauntless move, about the Epic Store. Tell me in the comment section down below. Tell me anything you wanna share with me. As always, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Also, check the other links in the description to my social medias. Check the other guides, walkthroughs and epic music that I make on my channel. And as always, if you wanna see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon in order to get notifications. Shadow Strider out.